What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be tying up a loose end here on my TJ Rock Crawler project. Now, the Jeep itself, pretty much done. Um, I do still have some future plans for it. Those are all very expensive and kind of uh, far out from now. But everything I've been doing to it recently has just been routine maintenance. Hasn't been anything that I wanted to film. Uh, at least it wasn't exciting to show you guys, as you can imagine. But been sitting out here thinking, man, what could I film to put out at least some type of content for all my fans, friends, people of the YouTube world that they can watch and somewhat enjoy. So uh, in the back of my head, I've had some extra parts laying around for my Jeep. Um, when I ordered from Motobilt, went ahead and also ordered a JL license plate holder. If you can imagine, the back of those Jeeps is pretty much flush. So my buddy Jordan, Recoil TJ, he mounted up a JL license plate holder on his flat tailgate like three years ago and always thought it looked good. So I knew when I was gonna build this Jeep that I wanted that same look. I knew I was doing the tailgate. So I went ahead and ordered this, I don't know, probably a year ago, year and a half ago, maybe even two years ago, and I painted it and it's just been sitting on a shelf ever since. Now, this license plate has just been sitting here through bolted to my tailgate for the last year that the Jeep has been done. So I figured what better to do than wrap up some loose ends on the Jeep, go ahead and make a quick little video and we'll put something out for you guys to enjoy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and mount up a license plate holder to my tailgate. Then I have just a, a little fun surprise at the end. So stick around, let's get to work. Moving right along, we should probably talk about the products we're using in today's video first. Obviously, this is going to be a Motobilt two-piece JL license plate holder. This is their big bougie model that you can uh, run a backup camera and a tail light or a license plate light with. Um, neither of those we're gonna be installing in today's video, maybe in the future. Uh, I know I definitely need to put a license plate light on it, but maybe in the future I'll do a fancy dash or a fancy uh, radio that has the screen built into it so we could wire up a reverse camera. Uh, if that's something you're interested in, leave a comment down below. I'll take it into consideration and maybe we'll do that project. But this thing has just been sitting on a shelf forever. It's been painted, it's scratched. It truthfully is kind of ugly at the moment, but down the road, we'll go ahead, send this off, get it blasted and powder coated, looking good. So it'll be finally installed on my out of hand DIY aluminum drop down tailgate. If you guys are not new to the channel, you saw me install this uh, quite a while ago actually, but super cool product. I'm not gonna talk a bunch about it. Um, it's made by out of hand fab. Those guys are awesome. They are my aluminum plugs. Anything aluminum on my Jeep, they had a hand in, whether it was just buying the aluminum from or physically making it. So Matt and Harry, over it out of hand. Super awesome guys, super awesome business. This drop down tailgate is available on their website for purchase. If you wanna grab one uh, at checkout, use code hunk of junk, save yourself a little bit of money and uh, grab yourself a DIY drop down tailgate. And uh, if you do, shoot me a DM on Instagram, let me know because uh, it's cool to see this product in the wild. Now, I guess that's enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get this thing mounted. Forever ago, I actually transferred where the holes need to be from this down onto here. Uh, I trust myself, you know, it's been a long time since those have been on there, but it's marker, they probably didn't move. So to make this interesting, we're just gonna go ahead and run a drill bit right down through there and get started on this install. So sit back, relax, let's go ahead, whip out this project.
Well, she's mounted on there and truthfully, pretty darn straight. Left a little bit of wiggle room on the holes so I could definitely make sure it's straight, but we know all the bolt holes are good. Um, looking at it, it's a little big, but uh, I think when it's all together, it should look just fine. But now we need to go ahead and disassemble this and work on making them one, getting a license plate installed in this. Uh, I assume we gotta get nuts behind all this before it gets mounted to that. So here's the plan. Uh, I just went ahead and found some hardware. Obviously we have four holes here, so the license plate just bolts onto that first, tighten it down, and then you can through bolt it to that. Um, now, I don't drive this Jeep much on the road, so I'm not gonna put my normal plate on it. If I do take it on the street, obviously I gotta swap it back. I'm not a convict, I'm not a criminal, but what we are gonna do, I am kind of like a license plate hoarder. I like cool looking plates from different states. So, plan is to put teal plate on my teal Jeep. Should look pretty cool. Like I said, obviously if we gotta go take it down the road, I gotta put my normal plate on it. But for this install and for this wheeling trip coming up, we're gonna be P202403 for Mississippi, 1982. So, gonna go ahead and work on getting this bolted together and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. There you have it, and truthfully, looks pretty good. We got black, gray, and teal. Everything kind of flows here, but we can go ahead and set this aside because we're moving on to the finishing touches of this project. Most of you probably don't know, but during this winter, I went ahead and took some of that marine grade foam traction board stuff. Uh, it's a sticky, I don't know, padding is what it is. And I did the inside of my doors, my center console, and uh, the whole reason behind it, one, a little bit of sound deadening, but two, my knee was like rubbing this door hecka hard. So I wanted some type of padding there. Plus, looks cool. Now, I have a bunch left over from that project, and my friend McKenna went ahead and padded the back of her tailgate. It's also a drop-down tailgate from Out of Hand Fab, and it turned out sick. So. While we're back here doing this project, let's go ahead and wrap this up, we'll do some padding, we'll get that installed. It'll be one less loose end laying around in here in the garage. So I'm gonna measure this out, trim it out, and uh, we'll get it stuck on there, and wrap this thing up.
Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, fun little project, wasn't too bad to do, and I don't know, truthfully, went pretty fast. I consider it a success. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't love that this isn't full width. Um, with my scraps, I didn't have a big enough piece basically available to fill this whole thing in. So in the future, as long as this is practical and stays stuck to the tailgate, and I find that I like it, uh, I'll order another piece of that and we'll actually put a full piece on here and we'll change out this hardware to try to sink it down. Um, I don't really sit on the tailgate, so I'm not worried about my butt. The only thing I really do is take my pack out and slide it down here onto the tailgate and use it as a workbench. But overall, I'm considering this a win and uh, looks pretty cool. Not sold on the black, but everything else looks pretty good on it. Love that old license plate. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it was gonna be a quick little project. Just a, you know, a random something that I already had in here that needed done. So, went ahead and whipped that up for you guys. Now, I'm going wheeling this weekend coming up. So, if that is a video that you guys wanna see, also, drop a comment down below, let me know. Generally, my wheeling videos don't do too well. Um, I don't mind filming them. Truthfully, I kind of enjoy it, and I like watching that raw style wheeling. But uh, if you guys want a little more flair, a little more talking, let me know in the comments down below. Probably gonna film it, going out with a couple other YouTubers and some friends uh, up to Roush Creek. So with all that being said, fun little project, fun little video. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update and uh, project here in the garage. So uh, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next upload soon. Let me know if you wanna see some wheel content. Later.